Welcome back to Chapter 6. This is Section 4, Prokaryotic Cell Division. By the end of this section, you will be able to describe the process of binary fission in prokaryotes, explain how FTSZ and tubulin proteins are examples of homology. Prokaryotes, such as bacteria, propagate by binary fission. For unicellular organisms, cell division is the only method to produce new individuals. In both prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells, the outcome of cell reproduction is a pair of daughter cells that are genetically identical to the parent cell. In unicellular organisms, daughter cells are individuals. To achieve the outcome of identical daughter cells, some steps are essential. The genomic DNA must be replicated and then allocated into the daughter cells. The cytoplasmic contents must also be divided to give both new cells the machinery to sustain life. In bacterial cells, the genome consists of a single circular DNA chromosome, most bacterial cells. Therefore, the process of cell division is simplified. Mitosis is unnecessary because there is no nucleus or multiple chromosomes. This type of cell division is called binary fission. Binary fission. The cell division process of prokaryotes called binary fission is a less complicated and much quicker process than cell division in eukaryotes. Because of the speed of bacterial cell divisions, populations of bacteria can grow very rapidly. For example, the average Escherichia coli is able to duplicate its population in a broth in about 20 minutes, given a favorable temperature and plenty of sugars to utilize to make new cells. The single circular DNA chromosome of bacteria is not enclosed in a nucleus, but instead occupies a specific location, the nucleoid, within the cell. As in eukaryotes, the DNA of the nucleoid is associated with proteins that aid in packaging the molecule into a compact size. The packaging proteins of bacteria are, however, related to some of the proteins involved in the chromosome compaction of eukaryotes. The starting point of replication, the origin, is close to the binding site of the chromosome to the plasma membrane. Replication of the DNA is bidirectional, moving away from the origin on both strands of the DNA loop simultaneously. As the new double strands are formed, each origin point moves away from the cell wall attachment toward opposite ends of the cell. As the cell elongates, the growing membrane aids in the transport of the chromosomes. After the chromosomes have cleared the midpoint of the elongated cell, cytoplasmic separation begins. A septum is formed between the nucleoids from the periphery towards the center of the cell. When the new cell walls are in place, the daughter cells separate. Okay, they don't always separate, but uh, in this example they separate. Some bacterial cells remain attached. The daughter cells remain attached after cell division. Like Streptococcus pyogenes, the causative agent of strep throat. It'll stay connected in long chains. Evolution in action. Mitotic spindle apparatus. The precise timing and formation of the mitotic spindle is critical to the success of eukaryotic cell division. Prokaryotic cells, on the other hand, do not undergo mitosis and therefore have no need for a mitotic spindle. However, the FTSZ protein that plays such a vital role in prokaryotic cytokinesis is structurally and functionally very similar to tubulin, the building blocks of the microtubules that make up the mitotic spindle fibers that are necessary for eukaryotes. The formation of a ring composed of repeating units of a protein called FTSZ directs the partition between the nucleoids in prokaryotes. Formation of the FTSZ ring triggers the accumulation of other proteins that work together to recruit 
new membrane and cell wall materials to the sites. FTSZ proteins can form filaments, rings, and other three-dimensional structures resembling the way tubulin forms microtubules, centrioles, and various cytoskeletal components. In addition, both FTSZ and tubulin employ the same energy source, GTP, guanosine triphosphate, to rapidly assemble and disassemble complex structures. FTSZ and tubulin are an example of homology, structures derived from the same evolutionary origin. In this example, FTSZ is presumed to be similar to the ancestor protein to both modern FTSZ and tubulin. While both proteins are found in extant organisms, currently existing extant, tubulin function has evolved and diversified tremendously since the evolution from its FTSZ-like prokaryotic origin. A survey of cell division machinery in present-day unicellular eukaryotes reveals crucial intermediary steps to the complex mitotic machinery of multicellular eukaryotes. And that is in this table, which I am not going to read to you. And here is what it looks like in animal cells. Mitotic spindle fibers of eukaryotes are composed of microtubules. Microtubules are polymers of the protein tubulin. The FTSZ protein active in prokaryote cell division is very similar to tubulin in the structures it can form and its energy source. Single-celled eukaryotes, such as yeast, display possible intermediary steps between FTSZ activity during binary fission in prokaryotes and the mitotic spindle in multicellular eukaryotes, during which the nucleus breaks down and is reformed. Okay, now that brings us to the end of Chapter 6, Reproduction at the Cellular Level. Next up will be Chapter 7, The Cellular Basis of Inheritance. Until then...